Doug Phillips is the founder of the San Antonio Independent Christian Film Festival, which will celebrate its fifth anniversary this coming January. Doug's also a constitutional attorney, an adjunct professor of apologetics, and the son of former U.S. presidential candidate Howard Phillips. But the biggest news at the moment is that the SAICFF recently unveiled plans to give the single largest cash prize in the world to be awarded by any film festival, Christian or secular. We'll talk about that in just a moment, Doug, but uh, that film, The Choice, there... Uh, it was done by a 17-year-old, you said. A 17-year-old, and he represents uh, a burgeoning movement amongst young Christian filmmakers, uh, boys and girls that really want to make a difference, and yeah. they're starting off young, they're getting involved, and I think they're the hope of the future. And now, media is such a, visual media is such a, a powerful way to communicate. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we've kind of complained about and criticized Hollywood for a long time now, <laughs> you know, as a Christian community. But you say that, you know, it's, it, complaining and, and, and kind of talking about the corruption in Hollywood isn't, isn't the answer. We've, we've, got to, we've got to light a, a candle. Yeah, Christ, Christians have correctly observed that Hollywood is, is a disaster. It's poisoning our culture. The message is toxic. But our answer has been either to infiltrate and have almost no influence whatsoever, mm -hmm. or alternatively just to accept the scraps off the table they give us, or just to get angry about it. Mm -hmm. We say no to all of that. We say, let's light a candle, let's build a solution, let's in fact encourage Christians to work outside of Hollywood mm -hmm. from the ground level up building presuppositionally biblical films. Mm -hmm. And now the uh, San Antonio Indepe Independent Christian Film Festival, uh, it's in its fifth year, as we said. Mm -hmm. How did that start? What's it all about? What kind of response uh, have you had to, uh, to, that, to that forum? Well, it started as a vision to cast hope for the Christian community. We really think we can make a difference. We've got some great things going right now for Christian filmmakers. We have access to technologies we never had before. We have the opportunity to distribute our films in ways that we never did before. Sort of the monopolistic stranglehold that Hollywood has had is breaking down. And, and quite frankly, people want a difference. Right. Christians want a difference. Mm -hmm. And you got to cast hope. You got to cast a vision for hope. And so we started this five years ago. We've had thousands of people come through both our film academy. This year we hope to train 700 both presently professional Christian filmmakers as well as up-and-coming filmmakers. Mm. And we hope to have thousands of people attend our film festival. It's going to be very exciting. Mm. So you say you're basically waging a new form of guerrilla <clears throat> warfare. Well, that's exactly right. Uh, instead of simply complaining, we want to train them. We want to get people out there. We want to produce films which are not only wise in the message and have great storylines, but, but rise above sort of the B-level filmmaking which has dominated Christian filmmaking for a long time. You know, one of the success stories co coming up out of this, the movie Facing the Giants, we were talking about at the top of the show, and the, the movie before they, uh, that one, Flywheel, uh, they spent $20,000 on it. Based on the success of this film, what do you see happening in churches across America? Well, Stephen Kendrick, when he comes, he's the producer of one of the two Kendrick brothers that did Facing the Giants, and when he comes, he explains to people, you can do it. By God's grace, you can do it. You know, when they did Facing the Giants, it was a $100,000 project. They brought in $20 million in revenues. Now, it's not about money. That's not what the message is. But right. the point is, if Christians <clears throat> can come together yeah. and creatively produce something for $100,000 that generates $20 million, it's a new world for us as filmmakers. Mm -hmm. And we want Christians to think outside the box. We want to invest in the future. We need to do more than complain. We've got to invest in the young men and women and the present professionals that can help be part of the solution. Yeah, yeah. Now we've seen uh, The Passion of the Christ, uh, uh, the Chronicles of Narnia franchise, Facing the Giants. Um, Ben Stein's jump into into things recently with no intelligence expelled. Oh, that's it, expelled. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's an easy way to remember it, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but you know, the, kind of the, that the message, that the, the the message of hope, the message of redemption, the message of of absolute truth. Uh, what do you see coming down the pike uh, when it comes to the? major motion pictures at large. Is Hollywood going to be adopting more and more of that, that kind of... Theme? Well, it is true that Hollywood listens to numbers and they listen to dollar amounts, so it's true. But we have to remember at the end of the day, the Hollywood elites that govern Hollywood hate everything Christianity stands for. That really is the truth. And so while they may uh, modify and accommodate, while they may listen, they're fundamentally not with us in terms of the direction that they're going in. Mm -hmm. I think in the long run, we need to be thinking about where we want to be in 10 years. 
years. And in 10 years, where I want to be is I want to see hundreds of films coming from Christians, which are absolute professional quality with legitimate budgets made by filmmakers that have something important to say. The, the grassroots, ground level, rebuilding work that, uh, that you're doing, you see that uh, as far as infiltrating Hollywood, is, is that still um, a viable, a viable uh, ministry or viable outlet as well where directors, producers, all the people behind the camera and behind the scenes as well as the few that are in front kind of bringing a, uh, a Christian influence into Hollywood itself? Well, first of all, I I thank God however the Lord chooses to use the gospel to get it out. And I recognize there are different approaches that people take. My own perspective is that for all the effort, all the money, all the work, the actual impact is quite minimal because we end up operating on their terms. That doesn't mean that there aren't individuals that have made right. real impact. Right. But individual I, level. But yeah. I, think, I think in terms of the big picture and the, the wisest strategic approach, we need to recognize we're operating on, in a territory mm -hmm. that, that isn't with us from the ground level to the top. They're not yeah. with us. And yeah. I think we have much greater opportunities building the right foundation, building it up, and, right. and doing it God's way. And that's yeah. what we're hoping to build with our film yeah. festival and our film academy, which trains these filmmakers for the future. So it's really going into, into the enemy's camp, so to speak, you know, going into, into hostile territory when it comes into, it goes, uh, you know, into the filmmaking and multimedia. Uh, how can bod the body of Christ, how can believers best pray and best support the work that, uh, that you're doing? Well, thank you so much for, for asking that. I'd say for one thing, if you're interested in worldview, if you're interested in films, if, if whether or not you're going to be a filmmaker, but especially if you are, uh, come to our Filmmakers Academy and meet the community of people that are trying to make a difference. And I'd say come to the Film Festival, which will be this January of 2009, uh, 8 and 9, and it will be so very exciting. Visit our website at independentchristianfilms.com, but specifically pray that God will raise up a generation of men and women who really seek Christ in films and want to do films God's way. And real quick, one last question. On this Facing the Giant, were the, were the people, were there anyone there associated with this project big professionals? Or was this just a church that came together? Facing the Giants was a church. And they were mom and dads and family members in the body of Christ that came. Now in the new film that's coming out next month, Fireproof by the same brothers, it's still the church community, but Kirk Cameron, who is a professional, joined them. So it's a little mm -hmm. bit of a mixture there. But the point is, people can accomplish a great deal with Jesus Christ with a lot of prayer and with a lot of guts. And mm -hmm. Christian filmmaking requires mm -hmm. guts mm -hmm. because we're going into a world that previously the doors have been closed to us. Now the Lord's opening up the doors. I say, let's go in full force. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, Doug, thank you for, for joining My us. Pleasure. And really, this is incredibly exciting. If you'd like to connect with Doug and the San Antonio Independent Christian Film Festival, website again is www.independentchristianfilms.com.